I'm just gonna dump this. So here we go, trying the Meredith Duxbury Foundation method. Hello, people of the internet. Today, we are going to be trying the new TikTok foundation trend. You might have noticed that there have been videos going around on TikTok and sometimes on Instagram of people putting on a lot of foundation. And I mean a lot of foundation. It mainly got popularized because of this one creator on TikTok. Her name is Meredith Duxbury, I believe. That's how you pronounce her last name. So she has all these videos and she puts on a lot of foundation and even though she puts on so much foundation she looks flawless by the end usually you would think that something like that would just make you look like super caked up the way she does it even though it looks really like intense in the beginning comes out with a beautiful product at the end and she looks beautiful so I wanted to try it. It's regularly not my thing. I usually use like a serum, like a really lightweight foundation. I love light, lightweight, light coverage foundations and I don't even try to use like a full pump. I'm like, literally I feel like I'm the opposite of her, but I was just like, you know what? I wanna try it. It's makeup, you can take it off. I'm curious to see. So let's find out what it looks like. Okay, so one of the first things that she always does in her video is gets her hair out of her face, very important because you do not want all that foundation getting in your hair. So hair out of the way. Then the second thing is primer. Okay, so I usually don't use primer. I don't really even have primer, but I do have this one from Smashbox. It's the Smooth and Blur. These are the foundations I'll use. So I'll start with the silicone based primer and we're just gonna apply that all over. By the way, I did do a pretty extensive skin prep for this like I usually do. So lots of moisturizer, oil, you know, essences, all the good stuff beforehand. And I really let that sit in for a little bit so that it wouldn't um, move around when I pull up, put on the foundation and the primer. So I probably did that like an, almost like an hour ago. Primer is on, skin feels really nice with the primer on. <sighs> and now, I'm gonna use a hand palette because it's a lot of foundation. Rare Beauty Foundations. I'm using two shades because uh, this one is a little, a little too light. This one's a little too dark. So when I mix them together, they tend to do better. <sighs> I'm just gonna dump this. So here we go, trying the Meredith Duxbury Foundation method. Oh, oh my God. Wow, that's a lot of foundation. And then, this is the thing she always uses. Um, it looks like just whatever brush to like mix everything in. Okay, oops, okay. I could probably cover my whole body in this. And then she puts it on the back of the thing and... So second fact, she probably doesn't use a lightweight foundation. Technically the Rare Beauty foundation is more lightweight. Um, I literally don't have foundation that's like matte or full coverage. I just don't use it. So I'm just hoping we can get the same effect with this. Oh, it's in my hair. Shoot. There is a lot of foundation. Oh gosh. <sighs> okay, I don't think I can spread any more anywhere else and um, I don't even know what this color is. So let's hope it comes out to look semi okay. Then she uses her fingers and her hands to blend everything in. Well, fun fact, I think I realized that these are definitely not my foundation colors. Or maybe when I use, oh my God, it's in my hair. <sighs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I, does she put it on her eyes? I don't even know. Well, maybe it'll be like, oh my God, this is so creepy. 
picked the wrong day to wear a sweater. I don't know, I'll go over the ear. I don't, I don't, oh my God, I have so many regrets. I think I, oh my. Okay, it's, oh my God, it's still really creepy. It's starting to set in a little bit. Um, how does she do this? How does she do this all the time? I think I did more than she did. I don't think she, used, I don't think she uses this much. I think I accidentally maybe poured out a little bit too much. I mean, I didn't even use half of what I poured out, but still, I think I just poured out way too much compared to what she does. Oh, my phone can't recognize me. Oh, this is such a mess. There's more foundation that goes on here. Now she uses a serum foundation. This is literally how much I would use for my whole face, normally, by the way. Okay. Okay. Okay, and mixing that into maybe that will help the color situation. This is gonna be the saving grace. She uses a sponge to like blend everything in. And from what I've seen, it looks like a lot comes off on the sponge. I wet my sponge. I like to put some setting spray on it to help like keep the foundation in place. I don't know if I want this to stay in place. And then the light will be a glow mist to give it some glow. Fun fact, my face actually doesn't feel that weird. Like it looks really weird. Let's, you know. No denying that, but it doesn't feel that weird. It like all came off on the sponge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend out this side of the face first only and then we'll compare. Okay. Doesn't look as bad. Let's do the other side. Wait, it's, uh, okay, let me get rid of the foundation lips, but actually being crazy, but this doesn't look as bad as when it first started. I wanna show you guys the sponge. Look at the sponge. My sponges never look like this, like it's, this color right here that you can see the unused part, but like basically it's now all just foundation. Color check, I mean, it's still a little off, but we haven't added other bronzer and contour and stuff to it. So hopefully we can get it looking normal. Okay. I think this looks a lot better than when we first started because <coughs> um, because that was just scary. I think, I think it's getting better. Um, I'll know when I edit, but I think it's getting better. All right, the next thing that she does is she powders her face. Like, it look like, looks like she powders her entire face. I don't have, like, like, a matte setting powder, so I'm going to use the Lancome Absolute, which is, like, a glow powder. Which... And she just goes all over her face with it. Oh, it's a different color. Okay, well, this will bring the color back in, so that's good. Now we're matte, a thing I hate to be, but we're just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna take the puff and I'm just gonna, I'm not putting any extra powder on there, but I am just going to like stamp it all over because I think it's going to help like take off any excess. And from here on, it looks like she just goes into the rest of the base stuff. So she does like contour, bronzer, and blush. So I am understanding it a little bit. Even though I wouldn't do this, um, I am kind of seeing the reasoning for the process almost. Um, it doesn't look as bad in real life. I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but it doesn't look as bad on real life as I thought it would. 
Okay, I have contour on. I'm gonna go in with cream products. So usually I have to spray because with the powder and the cream, it's just gonna be a real disaster. So I'm gonna spray it with the Lila B. It feels nice to just get that little powder feeling away. And as usual, pat it with your um, sponge to make sure like you don't get water drop droplets stuck on your skin. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Fenty Cream Bronzer. Wow, it's not showing up, hello? Okay, oh, oh, there it is, yep, now, now it's there. Oops, don't worry, we will fix it. Take our little sponge again and blend. And then blush. I'm just gonna go in with the Patrick Ta blush because this is neutral enough. This is She's Adorable. And I've noticed that Meredith keeps her blush pretty high up, which is something that I do too. So we're gonna keep it pretty high up here on the cheekbones. Okay, we have color again, yay. Do a little on the chin, nose, forehead, kind of at the end of where the bronzer was. So it kind of blends into the skin. And one thing, did you guys notice? You can basically contour with blush. I think you can contour more with blush sometimes than with contour powder because look at how lifted this side of the face is compared to this side of the face. Oh my God, the close up is insane. Not in a good way. I feel like I've been so many colors since this video started. And then she goes on to her brows. There's so much product on my eyebrow pencil. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna show you guys a close up of my brows. They usually look black, but with the amount of product that's on there, they look gray. You see, they have a gray tint to them instead of like the black one that they usually have, which is just because it has so much product in it. Oh, okay. So this also, when I'm putting my brow wax on, the brows are a different color because they're picking up the powder and the foundation that was laid down on them. So that is interesting as well. Eyebrows are, they are what they are. I'm gonna go do my eyes and um, I'll be back and then we'll finish up everything and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm not fully done yet. This is halfway down, but um, it feels like the skin is like, normal now. I mean, it's a little bit drier um, in texture than I would like to make it, but it's not that bad. And it, I don't think it looks that, that different from what I usually do. So maybe I've just gotten used to it at this point. Next step, she takes a highlighter. She always puts it down her nose. Whoa, that's really shiny, okay. And then the last, last thing she does is lips. The lip liner in there. One thing I have to tell you, as I try to talk, as I line my lips, is that I think from far away, it doesn't look as bad, but looking in my little like mirror close up, it's, you can see like everything. Like you can see everything just like amplified and exaggerated, not in the best way. All right, final thoughts. So I was so skeptical when this started, right? I was like, this is, it's not gonna work. It's just not going to work. It's definitely not gonna work for me. It works for Meredith. It works for other people who do super high coverage, but for me, it's not gonna work. And I was wrong. I was wrong. I think on camera, at least from a distance, it looks good. Um, I haven't edited it. I'm only looking from the little monitor. So maybe it doesn't look good on camera either. But from what I'm seeing right now, in the monitor, it doesn't look that bad. Close up is another story. Close up, you can see everything. And I don't, I just don't like the way my skin looks close up. Um, and it's also, you know, because I have dry skin, I have a little bit more texture. So somebody who might have like a little bit oilier skin than me, or who may just have a better primer, better foundation combo, might look better in this even close up. I'm not saying that they don't look good close up, but, this is what I look like, only bright lights, no filters or anything. I don't know if I'll try this again, but I am happy that it doesn't look 
as crazy as I had anticipated it to be. I'll do a makeup removal video and I'll add that to the end here. And I hope you guys all have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye.